I'm back for another sunscreen review. Today I'm gonna to review this one, which I bought last year and have not used it on my face yet because it's a body sunscreen. It's the Eucerin Sun Protect Oil Control and they have this one, which is a 200 milliliter bottle, which is a very good value because it's, you know, retailing for around like $29 US dollars. So they sell something comparable in a smaller package for the face at 50 milliliters and this one goes for like $20. So you're getting four times the amount for about one and a half times the price, which is great. I have not tried it on my face yet, but I've used it on my body. The thing is, it does have fragrance in there. Uh, the last ingredient is perfume, and um, I don't generally like to put perfume or like fragrance on my face just because it's like, I don't know, it kind of bothers me, but some people don't mind it, and um, you know, for the most part, it's okay. I am curious to see how it's gonna wear on the face because it is like this oil control formula which you would think would be a mattifying kind of look but we'll see about that yeah so i'm going to try it on show you what it looks like before and after here's my skin before so i'm already a little dewy like normal and you would expect since this does have some oil control features that you know whatever's in there to soak up lipids will help control that but we'll have to see about that Let's uh, get into it. So, so yeah, like I said, it is an SPF 50 plus and it has some ingredients in there that it claims to provide high energy visible light protection from blue light in particular. And they have a couple of forms of licorice root extract that they say help with DNA repair and also to prevent free radicals from high energy visible light. In the ingredients list, they're listed as like a calicone A, which they say is used to neutralize free radicals, and then glyceretinic acid, which they're saying provides DNA repair. It doesn't appear that they've done any studies to measure DNA damage or free radical production from blue light after using this, but they're just citing a couple studies that say that licorice root extract can protect from those forms of damage. So me personally, I don't really put too much emphasis on this in a sunscreen since it sits on top of the skin and I would rather, if licorice root extract is really good at that, I would rather just have that in a serum that I put on before or maybe at night or every day, you know, because you need those active ingredients to be in the skin cells in order to really like actually work. Um, so I don't know about that. I just use a vitamin C serum every single night to take care of that. And if there's any other additional protection offered by the sunscreen, then that's just an added benefit, but I'm not gonna rely on that, if you know what I mean. In terms of the sun filter ingredients, they have Tinosorb S as a broad spectrum. They have Tinosorb T150 as a UVB, highly photostable. Ava Benzone, which is an old school UVA on top of Uvenol A+. I like that they have dedicated UVA filters, especially UV, uh, Uvenol A+. Like I said, I haven't tried it before, so I'll wear it. I'll show you what it looks like right after and then let it set in and show you what it looks like after that. And I'll let you know later on also if there's any issues with like eye irritation because I have that problem with a lot of sunscreens, even the ones that are formulated for the face. So that's important to me and I'll let you know if I have any problems with irritation from that. There it is. It does have some denatured alcohol in there, which I can smell, but the fragrance is mostly covering it up. The fragrance is definitely kind of an artificial perfume smell. So I hope it's not too strong and I hope that it kind of subsides over time because I don't like to really smell fragrance all day long.
feels pretty easy to work into the skin. It seems to dry pretty fast, which is like, I guess it is a dry touch formulation. I don't really know what that means. I think dry touch more so refers to the fact that it has some lipid soaking ingredients in there, but anyway, it does feel kind of effortless putting it onto the skin, which is nice. I always like appreciate that. So I mean, yeah, that's that was pretty much it. I haven't even really looked in the mirror, but this is what it's looking like immediately after applying it. So it does seem pretty shiny right off the bat, but that's kind of not unusual for most moisturizers or sunscreens. Um, but let's give it a little bit of time to do its thing. But yeah, right now I don't have like too many things to point out. It does feel just like, you know, after Rubbing it in, it does feel kind of oily. I know that there is some um, seed, there's like a seed oil in there, canola or what's well, called rapeseed oil, but it's, it's the same thing as canola oil. So I don't know if there's any other kind of like lipid ingredients, but it does feel kind of moisturizing. It feels um, a little bit oily and which is ironic given the name and stuff, the oil control name, but we'll see what happens after and I'll let that go for like 15 minutes and I'll check check back and see what it looks like then. It's been 15 minutes and here is what it looks like. So I think it's still kind of oily. Um, you know, it's, I don't think it's gonna get any better from here. And before you say it, I did try, I have tried this one. I've tried the pigmented one as well on camera. And I also felt like it was kind of a glowy, kind of oily sunscreen, despite its name being an oil control sunscreen um, with dry touch. The scent did fade a little bit. And interestingly, it smells kind of like baby powder now, which I don't know, like, I don't really like that too much, but it's not overpowering. It's just something that you're going to be able to smell, presumably for a while after you apply it. Now, I'll also say that I do feel a little bit of tightness around my hairline and my eyes. And I remember also having the same experience with this, with the one formulated for the face. So it's not because of the formulation. I don't, like it's not because of the fact that this is a body sunscreen. Yeah, I do think that it's just something with the formula in general for this line of sunscreens that it feels just like you can feel something on your face, which is also not my favorite aspect of the sunscreen. And so far, my eyes don't have any real problems, but usually when I do have issues with that, it's like after I've been going out and sweating a little bit. so. I'll still come back and say, and talk about that. But so far, like, I think I might, would just stick to using this for my body because it's not really pleasant to wear <laughs> right now. And it's not even really doing the oil control thing that it promises. But I will just go on with my day and see how it wears. And I'll come back and let you know if there's any other things to point out. Still pretty shiny. I went out for about an hour 
and I walked around a lot and I was sweating and stuff. So um, I'll say the scent's kind of dissipated, but I can still s smell it faintly, but it's really not that bad. Um, in terms of my eyes, they don't really feel irritated. Hey, it's a little bit later in the day and my eyes actually kind of burn. So um, it's been a couple hours. So um, yeah, I don't think the sunscreen's for me, but it doesn't really matter anyway, as I'm gonna say in this next bit here, but just thought I'd let you know that um, it's not the best for the eyes. It's also not the worst that I felt, like it's not stinging or anything, but it feels definitely not very comfortable. So not sure at what point that happened. That's all I had to say. Nevertheless, I can still feel the tightness around my hairline, not so much my eyes, but I can still kind of feel that I'm wearing something. And when there's so many options for things that are lightweight that, you know, again, I just don't think I'd bother with this one in the long term, although it's not like really a bad option. It's better than a lot of the other ones. Um, but yeah, it's not living up to the oil control name in my opinion, and it's making me look more shiny than uh, I was originally. I guess I'll be leaving now. I guess that's it. That's, that's all. That's all, folks.